like a boss. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex from Mindful Attraction. And today we are going to be reviewing Elliot Scott. All right, and um, I'll be getting some requests to make his video, so let's expose him and see the shit that he has to say, okay? And um, let's hope I find things to disagree on because if, we, if I agree on everything, then we're cutting this short, all right? So let's begin this and let's watch out. What's going on, everybody? It's Fairy Dating Coach Elliot Scott, and I know it's been a while since I made a video. Damn, man. My boy lost his car or something, man. But, <laughs> all right, whatever. I need to get uh, kind of on this shit. But as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about a mistake, a big mistake a lot of... You see, the reason why I wanted to review this video is because I believe how you start things and how you finish things are most important. So, to me, how a dating coach reviews how to start a relationship and how to end it, to me, is indicative of, of all, most of their belief systems. I could be wrong, but let's find out. Women fall for in the beginning or that they get themselves in, which might not seem like one in the beginning, but by saying what you're saying or responding the way you respond, you get yourself into this fork at the road or it's eventually going to happen, right? Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. I will love you forever. All right, let's, give him, get, let's uh, give him some crack. Uh, click on the bell notification Speed him up. if you want my videos right away or when I go live stream where you can ask me a question and just around the spot in person. Okay, so oh, and if you want a session with me, phone session, all that kind of stuff, that's down in the description, okay? So, here's the thing, ladies. So, I, I had to make this video because I had two clients do it over the weekend, okay? Okay. Make this mistake. And it's usually where the guy gets out of something or, uh, not, he doesn't even have to get out of something, just in their situations it was, or they, the guy was getting out of something. Um, and the guy's going to say something along the lines of, again, he doesn't have to get out of something. You can talk, you can just meet him online or wherever, stuff like that. He's eventually going to say something like, you know, I don't want a relationship. I don't know what I'm looking for, but the right girl comes along, I'll know. Or I'm not looking for something serious, but the right girl comes along, I have no problem jumping into a relationship, blah, blah, blah. All right. And the girl hears that, and she hears it as hope, hope that there is something. And then she responds. Okay, okay. I see where, he's, I see, I see where he might be getting at, but let's keep listening. Oh, yeah, yeah I, you know, I'm looking for something, but not serious right now. I want to see where it goes or play it by ear. But, you know, for the most part, I'm looking for something. Just I want to take it. Slow. She says something along the lines of not so much now but yeah that's pretty much what i want right like yeah but you know i want to take things slower i want to see where something like that and what you see what i will go with that is you never accept uncertainty or maybes from people you just say let me know when you're let me know when things clear up and then we could try again you're not going to be dating that motherfucker who says, oh i'm not ready all right let me know when you're ready and then you just pull away eventually happens is when a girl says it it means something much different than when a guy says it when a guy says something along the lines of, I'm not really looking for a relationship, but if it happens, it happens, or, you know, if the right girl comes along, uh, then yeah, I'm totally for one. He means that, but he literally means the fact that I'm not looking for a relationship. If the right girl comes along, great, but until then, I'm going to do my fucking... Uh. Yeah, 100%, man. Like, that just means I want to dick you down. Like, it just means that, hey, man, you know, like, I'm with you, I like you, but I got to get to know you slowly, you know? Um, yeah, it's definitely a tactic. Oh, I thought my hair was all over the place. It's the damn clock. The clock makes it look like my hair is... Okay, anyway. But uh, ADHD. But when the you know when the guy says that, yeah, it's I literally don't want anything until the right shit comes along, and then sure I'll commit, right? Then yeah, I guess I'll do it. But until then, I'm going to do my thing, right? There's no placeholder, or there's no. Uh, well, let me say it in contrast with women. When women say they th that kind of stuff, like women are pretty much looking for a relationship. Now women might say, oh yeah, I want to see where it goes, or if the right guy comes. She, she's going to say the same thing. But yeah, I 100% agree. Like when women say she's looking for the right, she's slowly looking for the right guy. That's very true. One of the few things they're honest about. She has the end goal of a relationship, right? Like when a girl, I say this all the time, when a girl goes on Tinder, she's not just going on, on average, of course. She's not just going on to fuck a bunch of guys. Guys, on the other hand, had no problem going on, sleeping with a lot of women, talking. Hey, it's not easy sleeping with a lot of women, man. You know, you get attached to some people, they don't like you back, you know? It's, it's, it's pretty hard because you meet people who, who you like and they don't like you back, you know? So it's not that easy, but I get what you're saying. Talking to a lot of women, doing a lot of things. Um, uh, and then when the right girl comes along, it's like, okay, great. But until then, I'm going to have my fun. Women are kind of the opposite. Yeah, they might start talking to a bunch of guys, but it's in, um, it's for finding the right guy, right? Guys aren't, aren't on a journey to look for somebody. They're just going about, and if they find yeah. a person or the race, okay, then great. Women, on the other hand. Yeah, women make it sound like it's like a, like a mystical journey trying to find, like the, the three kings trying to find Jesus, you know? It's like, lady, just live your life, man. Stop making this like a romantic movie and shit. They're opposite. So this has a kind of a... a a, a bundle of fucks uh, coming down the road, right? What usually happens is, you know, they think they're on the same page. The guy's like, okay, well, if the right girl comes along, great, I'll find it. She knows that now, okay? Um, and of course, the girl kind of hears it and she hears a little bit of hope and she's like, okay, well, this guy sounds like he's open to a relationship. Mm -hmm. Let's see where it goes because that's what I want. Yeah. But you guys are on two different pages. It's only going to work for him if he thinks you're the right girl. But I feel like a lot of guys... That, that, that is very true. If he feels like you're the right girl. And what's funny is that 
being the right girl isn't about being perfect. It's just that you guys just like, you know, you, it's like you like pizza. You, why do you like pizza? You don't know why. You just like it. You, you like pizza more than burgers. Why? You don't fucking know. Just your, ge- your genetics are just attracted to that. So that's, that's something a lot of people have to, have to surrender to, that some people just won't like you. And the people who like you will like you despite of your flaws. You see what I'm saying? So he's right about that. Guys just say, no, I mean, they mean it because I say this and I mean it, but that doesn't mean I'm open to a relationship with you. That doesn't mean I think you're the right girl. Mm-hmm. If you are, great. If you're not, then you're not. I'm sorry to say. So what usually happens is there is context. That we go about it differently. If you and I keep on talking, you're thinking, oh, it's going towards something. This is fucking great. While the guy's thinking, okay, this girl's cool, but, you know, and we're still talking, but it doesn't necessarily mean I want a relationship, mm-hmm. right? Which kind of, you know, at the end, of, there's a, then there's that fork in the row where, you know, you, I mean, it just happens. Now, let's watch this one and what he, what he talks well, about, be, about pulling, pulling away and stuff like that, okay? I haven't made a video in a while. Um, I know. You guys remind me all the time. I, I, I 100% agree with that video. That, that, that's actually something I didn't know. But that I didn't think about, but that's true. But let's 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 watch this. I don't know, as you can probably tell, my eyes are just I'm just my sleep pattern's so bad. I can make a whole video on that. It's so bad right now. But I have to put out a video. You guys want my videos. I like making the videos. I'm just all over the place. Okay, so forgive me on that. Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just, just get yourself a personal assistant, my dude. When you get a virtual assistant and she's there to make notes. She pressures you to do shit, all right? So just get a personal assistant. Click the red button below. I love you forever. And of course, the bell notification next to it, so you get my videos right away. Now, as you can see, the title below, we are going to talk about how to say what you want, be emotional, do what you want, as you please, without freaking the guy out. Like, what does it take? Because there's a lot of girls who can do it, and then there are a lot of girls who... All right, let's see what he has to say about that. He better not come with some Mark Rosenfeld pussy-ass shit like he always comes up with. Who are, you know, who say one thing, and the guy's just like, nope, sorry. And the reason I'm making this video is because I had a client who kind of asked me this. She's like... You know, I kind of want, which not kind of, she's like, I want to be myself. Like, what does it take to be myself around the guy? Like, do as I please without freaking him out. You know, sometimes I want to send him a, uh, I miss you, or I'm thinking about you, or, you know, things like that without him freaking out. Mm-hmm. Why? Why does he freak out? So I told her it depends on two things. One, attraction, and two, what the guy's looking for. Because the reason you, and, and it's sad, I agree with her 100%, it's sad that you can't do these things, okay? But the reason you can't is because of the lack of attraction or the guy wanting something different. And you can't blame the guy so much for that. Again, it's just modern day dating now. It sucks. Yeah, I agree with that. All right. Okay. 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 Um, you know, women think it's so different than back then. It's not really. There's just a lot more competition. Which I'm like a woman. When, every, when, when I like the advice, I get bored. All right? So he better say some shit I don't agree with. Creates. Um more competition, right? I, I say in all my videos, the problem women have is they're talking to a guy online who isn't just going to settle for the first girl or a second or third. He's just not going to, I'm not saying he's settling for you, but I'm just saying in general, he's not just going to get in a relationship when he has a plethora of women uh, in, in the palm of his hand. When he has a bunch of options, like, I'm telling you, it's like a catalog in the palm of your hand. Yeah, man. It's like, it's like living, it's like a crackhead living next to the, living next to their dealer. Like it's, it's, it's unfair to them. It's, it's so difficult. Not unfair, but like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's it, like Chris Rock said, a man is only as faithful as his options, so. And there's always going to, I'm sorry to say it for men too, there's always going to, or women and men, there's always going to be better. There's always going to be the, the, the curiosity kills the cat kind of thing. One day there's going to be a dude who's younger than me and better at me at giving dating advice. And I'm going to have to surrender to that and adjust to it. And hopefully by that time I've adjusted. But we all have to realize that there are people who are going to take our place and there are people who's going to look at us and look and see us as relics. As, as new as you feel right now, one day you will be old and you will be discarded. I mean, it's just how it is. People are not going to want to talk to you that much unless you have something to offer. You know, I wonder what's, what else is there, what else is there, what else is there. So you have to be a really fucking awesome chick to get the guy to commit. So with that being said, when the, girl, when the guy's not sure what he wants, but the woman wants the relationship, she'd be, she's really available. She's saying, I miss you. I'm thinking about you kind of stuff. It's moving too fast. She's, uh, she's going with everything that he's doing. Um, text, they're texting too much. Even if he's the one initiating. It gets to a point where he's like, okay, you know what? I thought I wanted a relationship. I'm not sure now, but I can tell that she does uh, by the things she's saying. So fuck, I got to back off. Now, that is very true. Like that, 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 that is very true. hundred percent. All right. Okay. The, the way to get the guy to be, oh my God, oh my God. I'm touching my hair a lot because it's just so fucking long now. Oh my God, I got to get a cut. Well, unless you see me in my man bun. Um, now, the way to get the guy to be okay with that kind of stuff is to build the attraction. Now, easier said than done, but I, I'm not going to go into like what you have to do. I'm just going to try to give you the, the, the theory, the premise of it, right? And the, the analogy I like to use is like a bumpy road. If you're going on a trip and it's down a bumpy road, it's going to be a bitch. The bumpy road means the lack of attraction here, if you guys can't keep up with that. Okay? Your job is to smooth out that road so it's a nice trip. Meaning, you need to create that attraction to the point where he likes you. Now, this sounds like such common sense, but a lot of women don't understand that. You can say those things. You can tell him, I miss you, I want you, and things like that. But you have to play the game, and you're going to hate calling it that, correctly. You don't, you know, or tricks. 
or tricks, right? How, how some people say, right? Tricks. But he's right. You got to play that. It's like you got to think about it like parenting. Oh, wow. We all play games with parenting. We all act. We all give our kids our evil look just to, get, just to control them. But for some reason, when it comes to dating, there's a, there's a veil of morality. You can't play games. You can't, it's like, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. But you have to get him hooked. You have to make him think he has you, but but really he doesn't. And then and he kind of realizes that. It's like, fuck, you know, I'm making a good headway with her, but she's just not giving in. I'm not saying play hard to get. I'm just saying don't be in. I, I'm not a big game person, okay? Don't play hard to get. Don't be cold. Don't be a fucking bitch. Nothing like that. Same with him. But I know a lot of women who give in too fast. Uh, well, I will go play hard to get. Because when you like the person, you don't have a, you don't have a, you don't, when you're in love, you lose a certain level of self-awareness of how you're coming across and what, then the things you're saying. Like, I have women who, who, who really love me. They'll give me like the psycho look. And I'm like, yo, you're giving me the psycho look again. You know, the little look, you know? So it's kind of, like you got to play the game, have a structure, have a scaffolding so that your emotions, so that you can rein in your emotions. Where your emotions say, hey, send them this text. But then you know there's a frame and you say, you know what? Just wait an extra 15 minutes. Right? You think you're doing the right thing when you love the person, but from the other person's perspective, you're looking a little crazy. You see what I'm saying? So that's why it's important to implement games, not be the foundation of your relationship, which, that, which is what I think he's trying to say, but initially, in the dating phase, not before the relationship phase, in the dating phase, you better play a little bit of the games. That's how you leverage what you have, it's the negotiation too soon too easily because of what my client said which is why can i just be me well you know being when, you when they say why can i just be me well in reality what they're saying why can't i just be selfish and express how i feel you're not thinking of the other person you if you think of the other person you realize that that turns them off you realize that your constant texting turns them off it's a form of selfishness you it really is you know because you're ruining my time girl you're so hot why you gotta text me all the time you're making me not like you shit you're ruining everything you're not thinking of how I take in your information. You're just doing it because you have an emotion that you want to let out. But you're you're trying to you're you're, you're justifying it by calling it love, you know. And if you know, even though it is love, you got to control that shit. Mean is the thing, and, and I hate saying that. Cause I'm not saying change yourself or be someone different, but you might have tendencies that aren't. Yeah, it's not even about changing yourself. You know, it, it's all about just like it's like the color blue. There's intense blue, and then there's super light blue. We're not changing the blue. We're just changing the intensity of the color. See what I'm saying? It's like a teacher or a general. At first, you're so, you're hard and stern on on the kids, and that and you know what? That means you're not being yourself. That means a part of you wants to be nice, but you can't. But then once you gain the respect, then you could be nicer. Cold at first, and then warm at, in the beginning. Aren't attractive, you know? Like I don't Hours want my phone blown up just because you want to hear from me every day. You know, I don't I don't want to see you all the time just because you need the validation. And again, not all women are like this. Guys are like this too. I'm just using an example. So. When a woman says something like, you know, why can't I just be myself? I want to hang, you know, I want to see him all the time. I like, I want to text, I want to send him this, I want to send him that. Great, but you have to, I, and I told her the same thing. I said, you have to look at, like, I asked her, like, why do you want to do that? You know, there's a reason why, God, my hair. There's a reason why you want to do that. And I'm not saying that's wrong necessarily, but there is a reason why you want to do it. Yep. And there is nothing wrong with sending the, hey. hey it, it, usually it's just, you can't control your emotions. That's all. Gotcha. Hey this, hey that. However, you have to focus on the context. If you guys are moving fast, too soon, you're too uh, available, too eager, you're too interested, you know, you have more interest in him than he does you, uh, uh, whatever, nonstop texting has been going on for, I mean, all these kind of things. You're, you're building the, the case, you're creating the vibe of uh, needy and clingy. And if he's not on the same page, now there's some guys who like that. Yeah, sometimes I, you're not really needy, but because you love the person and they don't love you back or they're not on the same wavelength, they'll perceive it as needy. The neediness and clinginess personally. Um, I personally like it just because I, I guess I do this for a living, so I, I know what it's like, and I know, and I've been on the opposite end when I was way back in the, uh, like ten years ago, a decade ago, I was like that. So I understand, but at the same time, I don't bullshit a lot of women like um, a lot of people do. So you know, it's okay to do that stuff, but you have to build a platform on uh, on doing it, right? You just can't you just can't say those things because you feel like it because you want to be yourself. You know, you have you have to respect the the the, the context, the vibe, the aura, the, what they call framing. I highly and I say this in like, and I know I said this in several of my videos. I highly suggest two things: you look up what frame control is, look up frame control P P U A, just look up something on frame control, and get the book. I need to I need to get a sponsor for this book. Uh, Robert Greene's The Art of Seduction. Very very. <laughs> yeah good. yeah, he's really good. Yeah yeah, I need a sponsor for all his motherfucking books. Cause I, I, I yo, how many times you motherfuckers bought his books and didn't give me credit? It's unbelievable. But, hey, man, you know what? I end it here. I agree with him. Um, what I would do to pull away, tell him how much you love him, but then pull away. Like, if you say I love you, disappear, be busy the next day or the next two days. You know, oh, my God, she loves me. And then the next day, you're a little bit more busy. Now I'm doubting whether or not you love me. You should always keep that. But when the relationship happens, do that at a minimum. 
don't completely stop playing the games. Just do it at a minimum. You know, it's it's like it's like maintaining. Lose the weight, but then you gotta maintain it. You see what I'm saying? Anyways, this is Alex from My for Attraction. Hello, like Elliot has been exposed. So I mean, go check him out. I'll leave his links down below. Um, all his website, his his Instagram, all that shit. Go check it out and um. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you guys got to find me someone who's juicy, man. Give me some angel. Give me a dude who hovers above the clouds. All right? I don't want to be doing Mark Rosenfeld too much. He's too easy. He's too easy. He's too easy, man. I, I look. I felt like I was punching up. I now I feel like I'm punching down, man. It's too easy. He should have never made that video about me. Oh, Lord in heaven, have mercy. What's funny is that before I could comment on his videos, and now I can't. Now nobody sees my comments. It's funny how that works, right? But, hey, man, please let Mark, Mark Rosenfeld know I made a review video on him and, and post a link on his, vi on his video because I want him to make a response to the video. All right? Peace out, people. And, yes, I'm a petty motherfucker. Have a great day, people. All right, so I want you guys to check out my online course. It's called Dark Game, all right? And in this course, I pretty much teach you guys all of the most powerful techniques to get a guy to love you. Let me show you. Let me show you some of the things that, we, that we're going to talk about on this course, right? Um, because this course is pretty much a coaching session where I give you guys where I where each section, for example, right? Each section we're talking about the pre honeymoon period, the honeymoon period, and the post honeymoon period. Every relationship is in these three places, right? And so it identify you which what what are the signs that you're in each in each of these phases, and then I give you guys specific techniques that are meant for that specific stage, all right? So in this course, you will literally be coached by me without being coached by me, all right? On top of that, I give you guys some of the psycho, some of the psychologies of attraction to help prepare your mind so that you don't have unrealistic expectation, right? So on the pre-honeymoon period, we have such thing as, uh, we have things such a like of, sorry, we have something like, something in the likes of, um, Introduction to the pre-honeymoon period, how to know how to get to know a guy the right way, how to get to know him indirectly, directly, how to create a powerful reputation, how to how to create attraction non-verbally, how to instill thoughts of commitment, how to use weakness to create a strong bond, and we also provide pop quizzes, right? This course pretty much I don't give you guys a bunch of techniques. I just give you guys everything that really works. I am telling you, these techniques are meant for specific reasons. I could have put out a bunch of different videos, but I knew that these are the videos that you guys need to avoid being manipulated, right? And end up with the guy that you want, all right? So I want you guys to check out this course, man. This course, I'm putting a lot of work and effort, and I know that if you guys purchase this course, you guys will be able to get any guy you set your mind to, right? So check it out. I provide free videos, so if you guys want to check it out, you guys can check it out absolutely for free. And if you don't want it, you don't have to purchase it, all right? Anyways, this is Alex from MindfulAttraction.org. Take care. And the beauty about all of this is that it's only $90, $99. And if you guys know my coaching sessions, I have coaching sessions that are over $1,000, right? So this is pretty much a way for you guys to get coached by me without paying a hefty price. And the beauty is that there's a money back guarantee. If you guys don't like the course, you guys will literally get money back. Look, these are the things that people can say. All I can say is this stuff is powerful. It works. Alex, keep up the good work by you putting everything in clear, vivid understanding for us and providing an example. It is really useful. <laughs> All right. All right, ladies, so if you guys enjoy this, all right, ladies, so yeah, check out this course. It is the shit, in my opinion. Um, I know you guys are going to love it. It's 29 videos, so take care, and I hope you guys enjoy yourselves.